Hey guys, today the video is about one of the best features of the GMC motorhome, the rear airbag suspension. I opted for a replacement bag from Cinnabar Engineering that fit all the OEM specifications and it's really easy to install them. You can probably do the whole job in under an hour and the only tools you need are a jack, some jack stands, an inch and an eighth wrench and a few smaller wrenches for your airlines. It's really easy, and I'm going to show you now how to do it on the driver's side of the coach. Let's go! Replacing your airbags is extra easy if you do one side at a time. So lift up the coach, placing the jack on the bogey, which is that part in the middle between the rear wheels, and your jack stand on the frame rail where the frame rail is doubled up. The frame rail is doubled up in this rear wheels area, and if you crawl under there and look, you will see what I'm talking about. So first things first, we need to let all the air out of the airbag in the airline. So grab a 9 16 wrench and loosen up the air fitting. They're not very tight because the factory ones are plastic. You might hear a whoosh noise when you take off the hose, but I had already aired down this side. The airbag itself is only held on with two nuts and the size of them is an inch and an eighth. What I like to use is a box end wrench and then just crack them loose. They're not that tight. You can probably do it by hand now. And then do the other side. I like to use a box end wrench because it's kind of a tight fit here inside of this bogey arm pocket. But just loosen it up and then you can spin it off again. You're going to take off the nut and remove this star washer as well. The airbags come with new ones in the kit. With the nuts on both sides removed, you can take your hand and push down on either bogey arm and let the airbag free. Comes right off. It's a great time to do some cleaning, so I'm going to use some brake cleaner and a wire brush to make sure all the dirt is out of the way. Double check that this area is clear and clean. You don't want any debris where that lock washer goes. It could cause a dangerous situation later with it loosening up. When you remove the little red protection pieces from the airbag, it will be obvious which side goes where. One end is open and one end is closed. Here's the open end here and the closed end. When you're ready to install your airbag, put on your end caps and press firmly down on the ground because you need them to be fully seated. See how there's not much thread sticking up out of there? When you put on the new hardware, it will draw it through, but it's better to just prep it like this. Cinnabar Engineering gives you new stainless steel hardware, so put that in a handy spot. And I like to start with the closed stud first. So just insert that, put the lock washer, and then get the nut started. There's no direction on the nut or the washer. They go either way. Then you can kind of fold this down and lift up the other arm and get it to seat and put on that one as well. If you're not strong enough to lift the arm by hand, what you can do is put a jack underneath the backing plate on the brakes and since you're not jacking up the weight of the vehicle, it works just fine to lift the bogey arm and get the stud to pop out. This is the area you can place the jack on, or you can put it on the brake drum itself because you're not jacking up the weight of the coach, only the weight of the bogey arm. Just be careful and don't force anything and don't bend anything. 
The torque spec in the factory service manual is 50 to 60 foot pounds. I'm gonna do mine at 60. So just put on a socket with your torque wrench and torque her on down. <laughs> I've got this fancy snap-on torque wrench, but you can use a Harbor Freight one or a cheaper alternative, no problem. Perfect. The seagulls are reminding me to tell you that 50 to 60 foot pounds is about half of what a typical lug nut is torqued to. So keep that in mind. And if you don't have a torque wrench, it's not rocket science. It's just a motorhome. It's not a bad idea to install an airbag isolator kit, but Cinnabar does have these all brass air fittings. So we'll just put those on. You wanna thread it in and it already has a sealant on there. And tighten it down with a 9 16 wrench. And then on your airline, take a pair of dikes and cut off the old fitting and unscrew the end from the brass fitting. Inside of the nut is this little ferrule. So put the nut on the hose and then put the ferrule on as well. If you don't cut the hose clean on the end, it might be a little tough, but shove that on and then tighten down the nut. And it's that easy. The nut is the same size. It's also a 9 16. Don't go gorilla strength on these. It's not 50 to 60 foot pounds. It's about 10 foot pounds. But if you use your wrench and your hand, you will feel when it's tight enough. Just don't force anything. So there you have it. One of the coolest parts of the GMC motorhome is actually one of the easiest to replace. The only thing left to do is to spray this down with soapy water to check for leaks. Use something like Dawn dish soap in a spray bottle and look for air bubbles. The air bubbles are the air passing through and that is your leak. If you have a leak, just tighten down the fitting. It will most likely go away. These airbags are available from Cinnabar Engineering and the original airbags made by Firestone have been out of production for years. I recommend keeping your old airbag as a spare just in case of an emergency. And make sure to have fun guys. Use your GMC wisely and travel safe. Thank you for watching.